conduct versus criminality. How are we going to lace with the two? That is one issue we should be looking at. The GES code of conduct and then how it could have a relationship with criminality. Should the Ghana Education Service only handle the issues at their level or such issues should be connected to um, maybe the police for the law? Because the police arresting people and all that. Let's be, let me speak to Claudia and then we'll know how to do. Claudia, good morning. Good morning, but your voice sounds far away. Oh, okay. Is it okay now? I'll try. I'll try. Is it okay? I'll try. All right, great. Um, Divine just spoke to us and he is calling for sexual education. But you know very well that um, this is not the first time a teacher probably impregnates students. So we've not been hearing of the adverse effects. The media only talked about the issue, then the subsequent effect you don't follow. You've heard this. You, you gave a long write-up on St. Monica's issue. What is your take on sexual harassment in schools, Claudia? Okay, let me first of all say a very big uh, thank you for the opportunity mm. and a good morning to your listeners and your other panelists. I must say that special harassment has been going on for a long time, even mm. on a scale that we we have not paid attention to. We don't know. Because when we talk about harassment, mm. What harassment is and what students perceive to be harassment are two different things. Okay. Because they don't have the knowledge, they don't know about what exactly the harassment is. They think it is only sexual abuse that is uh, a case to mm. be pursued. Mm. But there are so many ways that students are being harassed day in and day. And I don't want us to just focus this sexual harassment or whatever on teachers, mm. but look at it on a broader perspective. Okay. Our students have been going through a lot of harassment and abuse. And in the case of sexual students, it's worse mm. because they are put in a situation where they are to make a choice between passing examination and then standing up for their rights. In a situation like a college of education where you need a CA, continuous assessment, that is heavily manipulated by the course masters, you can only imagine if somebody wants to use that as an advantage mm. to deprive you of what you truly deserve. Yeah. So a lot of things go on in our various schools, and I think it is a wake-up call for us, as Divine has said, to intensify self-education, mm. even from the basic level. A child who can stand up for himself or herself at a very tender age, who grow up with it and get to university and still stand up to lecturers and say, hey, no, I'm not doing this. I was, I was actually um, taken aback looking at the video of trainees. These are tertiary students who didn't see anything wrong. I, I, I just, no, why couldn't they stand up for themselves? Uh, don't you think that they, they felt they are matured and it's one of those things so that which doesn't necessarily need, you know, external supervision? Don't you think so? This is an educational institution for crying out loud. Okay. Th that was in the church. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is one challenge. But so, d d do the priest actually said it was for a purpose of appreciation? But do you think uh, using the altar of the Almighty as a Christian to portray such forms of appreciation? See, for them to... even the church mm. that gave you the appointment mm. to that school as a priest abhors the action. Yeah, yeah. So what is he trying to say? Even the white people who use kisses to greet, I don't see them doing mouth to mouth kiss yeah, yeah. as a means of showing greetings. What happened to giving hugs? Mm. What happened to uh, a kiss on the cheek, 
on the forehead and all that. And for we are in COVID. Mm, mm, mm. And then you line up students and then you kiss them in turn. And this student for me, um, it, it's quite disappointing mm. that you are adults. You, you allow somebody to kiss somebody and then calls you, you take your turn, the next person. It just tells you how ill-informed and then um, our students can be. It, it, is, it is sad, and that is why I keep saying that parents should take responsibility for empowering their children. Give your children the chance to speak their mind. If they are asking questions, give them answers. Give them the room to express themselves. Let them speak up their mind if they think they don't like something. Nobody should force you to like something you don't like. Mm, mm, that's true. That's they should true. take up that responsibility and then see, we cannot overcome all the fantasies and then the ill intent of people in our community. That's true, that's true, that's true. People have ego to do so many things. Mm, mm. What we can do is to make sure that we are empowered enough to make sure their fantasies does not make us victims of the situation. That's true. Um, do they have a lot?